Hello, this is my Instagram assignment for animal psychology. I'm going to answer the questions. So, the first question was summarize. So, what I did was I checked the screen between 8 a.m. and 8.30 p.m. The feeding time was 10.30 a.m., 1.30 p.m., after 30 p.m. I started April 3rd, and I ended around April the 9th, I believe. My behaviors I chose was self groom stand, which is like being still, um, body rub, stump, and feed. The highest of them was stump and feed. They were both tied for 23.8%. The lowest was feed at 14.3%. Um, I think it was the behaviors that like the outside force of preventing some things from not for me not seeing everything I wanted was like the interest in certain activities. So one otter might be interested in swimming, but the other one might be interested in eating. Or they both might just want to lay down and be lazy. So you never really gonna see everything because each otter has his own interest. Cause they're both different. Also, the amount of room. I feel like they had a bigger environment than we doing right after. Like, more room to swim, more room to play with the balls, more room to even lay out, or even they had more otters, or I had more otters to play with. Um, I just feel like they, they just need a bigger environment, more natural. What's very common, they can comprehend, because it's amazing how they can know where to go get food at. They know where to go get balls to play. They know a draw when they swim. Um, when they have a problem with another otter, they know to snarl, growl, let them know that they displeased with them. There's many ways, like, they do what we do, but do it in their way. Also, how they communicate is that they communicate by whistling, yelping, and growling. Sometimes screaming and body posture and body gestures. So say that another auto don't really like, don't like the other auto or don't like what he did. He don't mind snarling or growling at him let him know like, hey, I don't like what you did. Or they want to get your attention, they'll whistle. They feel in danger, they'll scream. So yeah. And also they hungry, they also make noises too. They make noises so it's just when they have fun, like, you know, they're enjoying themselves. Just like humans do. So it's very interesting. And that's why I come in the fifth question. Like, how do they show it? Like I said, they communicate by whistling, snarling, and growling, and body pressure. If they, don't, if they don't like another animal, they will show that. If they're hungry, their body pressure, their body gesture and posture will change for sure. So you would know. And how they know, and another question is kind of flexibility. One thing I know is that artists love to wrestle. So they know when to wrestle for fun, and they know when it's a serious battle. Like, so when it's for fun, they're not as aggressive, they're not as rough and loud. But when it's time to get serious, they're loud, aggressive, wrestle like a switch. Kind of like flight or fight. In time to fight, they get aggressive. They're ready to go. They're adrenaline pumping. It's like something tells them, hey, yo, change from playful to now and get real. And when it's time for them to be playful, they're playful. So you always tell the difference. It's always like when they're ready to see it, it's more of a snap. And when they calm and playful, it's more of like enjoyment. You probably hear whistling or yapping. But if it's serious, you probably hear growling and snarling and like emotion. Stand still, body posture or gesture. And individual differences. Okay, my first animal I had was a meerkat. The meerkats are very active and they travel in packs. Like, you might see two or three meerkats doing the same thing, or five or six meerkats doing one thing, another eight doing another thing. They always travel in packs. They're always busy. They're run around, get water, run back, run around again, get back water again, eat, um, play around all day it never ended with them but the artists I know this a lot they're more chill they're more relaxed they have a travel on a pack with two things together they're more freelance one artist can swim one artist can chill one artist can eat they're not trying to they communicate and they 
know that each other's in the same environment, but they know they only have to do everything the other one do. Like, meerkats are always together. Always doing activities together. But the otters are very, very independent. Also, also, like I said, the, by the activity, the otters are more relaxed. Meerkats are on the go. Like, it's always running. Always trying to investigate and looking around. So, yeah. Thanks for my Instagram or something.